Hi and welcome to Ivy English. I'm Angela, and I'm Wesley. Today is day two of a two-day article called "High Tech Uses for the Ancient Art of Paper Folding." Today is May eighteenth, and yesterday's article we talked about two cool uses. We had two cool uses for origami. One is turning solar panels from easily transportable packages to the full solar panel. Changing the size of it—that's an incredible use of of origami. And the second one is to use, like, have a way to gently trap fragile fish deep under the ocean. That's the second use of it. Today, we're gonna do even more amazing things, talking about how origami can stop bullets. That's not something you think about because it's paper. And then the third, the far, the fourth, and final thing is. An origami robot going inside your body. Wow. Okay, so let's find out what today has to offer. Origami has provided inspiration for technology for use in space and deep in the ocean, but its influence does not stop there. Other ways origami has proven useful include helping to protect police officers from harm and assisting doctors in medical procedures. Origami design stops bullets. Using Kevlar, the material that bulletproof vests are made from, engineers at Brigham Young University created a shield that can protect up to three officers at the same time. Through the use of origami techniques, the shield can be quickly unfolded so that it stands up on its own. Members of a police squad can crouch behind it for protection. When tests on it were done. Not even one of the most powerful handguns in the world, the .44 Magnum, could penetrate the shield or knock it over. Despite opening up to cover an area much larger than traditional shields, the special design is lighter and folds into a compact shape. Origami robot works inside the body. While some devices inspired by origami are huge, others are tiny. Researchers from the U.S., the U.K., and Japan have designed a robot small enough to fit into a pill. After being swallowed, the robot unfolds and can be used to perform medical procedures with magnets. This can include removing objects, a small battery that a child has swallowed, for example, or it may be able to help heal a wound inside the body. The high-tech uses of the traditional art of origami are truly incredible. They demonstrate how humans can borrow techniques from the past to make an impact on the modern world. Okay, so we start off by saying that origami ha- origami has provided inspiration for technology for use in space and deep in the ocean, but its influence does not stop there. This here sentence is a transition sentence, partly because we went from yesterday to today. And partly because even in the article, if you read it all in in one go, you still need a transition sentence to get from the first two,、uh, the first two bits of information to the second two bits of information. So there's not a lot of information value in this sentence, but it's just there to help orient us in the article. It's like a, a it's like a sign at an intersection.、Mm-hmm. 好，那我们今天这篇文章其实就是昨天那篇文章的第二部分。好，那中文标题就是不只是艺术。折纸启发新科技。那今天文章的第一句话呢，其实就是一个转接，好，它承接昨天的文章所谈到的东西，然后呢，那进入今天文章所谈的东西，啊，那这个是文章里面常常看到的一种转接的方式，好，所以在转接的时候呢，通常你就会把在这个句子之前的重点把它讲出来，所以我们可以看到他说，这个 origami has provided inspiration， 提供了一些灵感 for technology， 它为科技提供了灵感。好，那这科技是用在哪里呢 ？For use in space， 这是昨天讲的啊，可以这个用折纸的这种技术或折纸的这种概念呢，把一个太阳能板把它送到太空去啊。那另外他说 ，and deep in the ocean， 这个是昨天讲的第二个重点，就应用的部分，就是可以到深海里面去捕捉那些深海生物。所以这个 for use in space and deep in the ocean， 就是我们复习或者是把它整理一下。昨天，也就是在这一个句子之前，这篇文章所谈到的东西。然后呢，后面这半部 ，but its influence does not stop there。那这个是用来
展望今天要讲的东西。换句话说，今天要告诉你说，除了外太空，除了海洋之外呢，折纸艺术它所带来的这种这个科技的概念呢，它的影响。并不止于昨天讲到的 in space， 还有 deep in the ocean， 还有今天接下来要讲的东西。And so the second half of this transition is talking about what's going to happen today. Other ways origami has proven useful include helping to protect police officers from harm and assisting doctors in medical procedures. So in two sentences, we talked about we summarized yesterday's、um, information and we. Pointed to today's information. 好，那接下来要告诉你今天会讲什么呢？他告诉你说 ，other ways， 其他的方法。好，然后呢 ，origami has proven useful。那这个部分前面写的 in which， 好，就是 other ways in which origami has proven useful。也就是说，在其他 origami 被证明很有用的一些方式啊。那这些方式怎么样？这些 ways include 包含了。两点，那就是今天要谈的。第一个就是 helping to protect police officers from harm， 它可以帮助我们保护警官啊或者警察 from harm， 让他们不至于受到伤害。所以 protect somebody from something 啊，那这第一点。第二点，他们也可以帮忙我们这样 assisting doctors， 他们可以协助医生在 medical procedures， 在医学的治疗上面也可以协助医生。Okay, so the first one is origami design stops bullets. Hard to imagine, but let's read it. Using Kevlar, the material that bulletproof vests are made from, engineers at Brigham Young University created a shield that can protect up to three officers at the same time. So Kevlar is a special bullet catching material. It's very hard for bullets to go through. And that's what vests are made from. They use this material to make the vests. The vests are made from Kevlar. And so, some BYU engineers they created a shield. A shield is literally a thing you hold up to protect you. Like you remember, you know, back when we fought with swords, you have a sword and a shield. You have a piece of metal to protect you from the other guy's sword. So in this case, it's a piece of Kevlar to protect you from the other guy's bullets. And this shield can fold up big enough to protect three people at the same time, not just one. 好，所以这个句子他讲到说，这个这一部分谈的是 origami design stops bullets， 就是折纸设计可以阻挡子弹。那这一句话告诉你说，使用这个克维拉，那这是什么东西呢？同伟哥告诉你，它是 the material that bulletproof vests， 就是防弹背心，好 ，are made from。防弹背心怎么什么东西做的呢？防弹背心就是用克维拉这种材质做成的啊。那所以使用克维拉这个材质呢 ，engineers at 就是工程师在杨百翰大学的工程师，他们 created 他们做出了一个 shield， 就是一个盾牌。这个盾牌可以 protect 保护 up to 就是多达最多可达三位 officers 三位警察。At the same time, 同时，它可以保护三位警察啊，所以这个呃效果还不错。So through the use of origami techniques, so skills that people learn from origami, the shield can be quickly unfolded. The key word is quickly, <laughs> and unfolded, so it's folded out so that it can stand up on its own. So it's not a shield that is held; it's a shield that's meant to stand up. On its own, so using its own support, it's not leaning against something. It's not being held up. It supports itself. It stands up on its own. 好，那 through the use of 就是透过什么的使用，透过使用折纸的技术哈 ，origami techniques. The shield, 他们设计出来这个盾牌呢，可以很快的，重点在 quickly. 所以他把 quickly 拿到 unfolded 前面。这里你如果说 the shield can be unfolded quickly. 那感觉起来好像那个 quickly 就没有那么严，没有那么被强调出来了哈。但在这里重点是要很快的展开来 unfold 就展开来啊。你不能说警警匪对峙的时候，警察跟警察跟匪徒说：“哎、欸，等一下，等一下，我们把这个盾牌把它，那大概需要<笑>我们大概、uh, give me three minutes <笑>啊。”所以这样就不行了。所以要 quickly 要很快的就能够展开啊。那 so that 结果就展开之后呢，它就可以 stands up on its own 那个。
盾牌自己可以站在那边，好，你不用人去把它架着。Members of a police squad can crouch behind it for protection. So, by using this word "crouch," we understand that they're not standing behind it. It's not tall enough that you could stand behind it, but you can crouch, which is like you're on your feet, but your knees are bent. Um, 蹲 Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> there's really all, no other word for it. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. 好，所以呢 ，members of a police squad. 好 ，police squad 就是。警察的一个小队，哈，所以警察一个小队里面的 members 的成员呢，他们可以 crouch， 可以蹲下来 behind it， 他们可以在这个盾牌之后蹲下来，好，然后呢做什么 for protection， 以求保护。I just realized the other word we would use is kneel, but the difference between crouching and kneeling is readiness. If you're kneeling, you're on your knees, and it's hard to get up, and it's also uncomfortable. But if you're crouching, you're on your feet, and you're ready to spring up at a moment's notice. Hmm. 好，那另外一个蹲也可以用 kneel 哈 ，k n e e l。但是这两个差别是 crouch， 它是比较更容易的随时起来啊。那 kneel 的话呢，就比较没有办法那么快起来啊。的差别在这个地方，就是他们的 readiness， 你能不能立刻起身？嗯、mm.。So when tests on it were done, when tests were done on this shield. Not even one of the most powerful handguns in the world, the forty-four Magnum, could penetrate the shield or knock it over. So this is complicated to say. It's not that somebody could knock it over. Not even one, not even anybody could knock it over. Not even one of the most powerful handguns in the world. Not even the most powerful handgun could knock it over or penetrate it. Hmm. 好，所以呢 ，when tests on it were done， 啊，就是当这个盾牌的测试 ，it 就指这个 shield， 它的测试完成的时候呢，那我们发现，连最威力强大的手枪啊，连世界上最威力强大的手枪啊是什么呢？他用 dash 告诉你，同位格告诉你，就是麦格农点四四的手枪啊，那只是很大的，那个威力非常强大的一种手枪呢，即使是这种手枪。都没有办法 penetrate the shield， 没有办法穿透这个盾牌，所以它防弹效果很好。哦，也没有办法 knock it over， 也没有办法把这个盾牌打翻掉，因为它前面讲到这个盾牌会 stands up on its own， 所以你即使用威力很强大的手枪去射击它的话，不但穿不过去，也没有办法把这个没有办法把这个盾牌打得翻过去。Despite opening up to cover an area much larger than traditional shields. Traditional police shields go from about knee to head height, so this、mm -hmm. is a much bigger space size. However, the special design is lighter and folds into a compact shape. Those police shields are actually really heavy. Hmm. 好，所以呢，他说 ，despite 尽管 opening up 就是可以展开来啊 ，to 可以展开来去干嘛呢 ？Cover an area， 涵盖覆盖一个地区。好，那这个地区是怎么样？是 much larger than traditional shields， 就是它涵盖的地区比这个 traditional 传统的 shields 盾牌所能够涵盖的地区还要大。所以换句话说，这种新的盾牌，这种折纸技术发展出来的盾牌呢，它可以保护的区域是比一个传统的盾牌能够保护的区域大得多。那尽管如此呢，那这样的一个 special design， 这种特殊的设计，就是指这个盾牌这种。折纸技术所做出来盾牌这种特殊的设计呢 ，is lighter， 就是跟传统的这个盾牌比起来，重量比较轻，而且呢 ，folds into a compact shape， 它可以折成一个 compact， 就是或者 compact 啊，它就是一个紧实的意思啊，所以它可以折成一个很紧实的一个形状。换句话说，它体积并不大。Now we have origami robots work. Robot works inside the body, so it's a wow! It's a robot that's made of origami. Yeah, 就靠折纸艺术这种哈，所以呢，我们可以看到这个部分，我们的中文标题就是“折叠机器人可以进入人体”。While some devices inspired by origami are huge, others are tiny. I think the main thing about any of these origami things is that big things can become small, and small things can become big. Size change is our issue here. 嗯，好，所以他说呢，有一些 devices 装置哈、啊，是由折纸艺术所启发的装置哈、啊，是大的，像刚刚讲那个盾牌哈、啊，它可以展开出来很大
others. The 另外有一些呢是 tiny， 是很小的。Researchers from the U.S., the U.K., and Japan have designed a robot small enough to fit into a pill. It's small enough to be swallowed. If something can fit into something, it has the capacity of going inside the other thing. It's small enough, or its size is just right to go inside something else. Hmm. 好，所以 fit into a pill 就是它可以装入一个药丸啊。那所以这里讲到说，从美来来自于美国、来自于英国，还有来自于日本的这些研究人员呢，他们已经设计出了一个 robot， 一个机器人啊。那这个 robot 怎么样 ？That is small enough to fit into a pill。那个 that is 省略掉了。那这个机器人呢，它够小啊，它可以被装到一个药丸里面去。A pill 就是一个药丸。And after being swallowed, after the person has put it into their mouth and put it swallowed it down into their stomach, the robot unfolds. It opens up and can be used to perform medical procedures with magnets. So it uses magnets to do its job. This is kind of amazing. Yeah. So after being swallowed, 被吞下去之后呢，这个机器人就可以 unfolds， 它就可以展开来。然后呢，可以被用来 perform 执行啊，这个 medical procedures 就是医疗的治疗。那用什么来执行呢 ？With magnets， 就是使用磁铁。Magnets 就是磁铁。This can include removing objects, for instance, a small bad battery that a child has swallowed, or it may be able to help heal a wound inside a body. So either it can take something out of the body, or it can help stitch something up, maybe. So. This can include. 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 Or, 或者是 it may be able to. 它也许有可能可以干嘛呢 ？Help 帮忙我们 heal 就是治疗，好，而且治愈一个 wound 一个伤口 inside the body。所以你可能体内有一个伤口，那以前可能还要开刀进去治，好，但现在呢，你靠这种技术就可以让这个呃小小的 robot 去帮你治疗这一个伤口。So the high-tech uses of the traditional art of origami are truly incredible. The things that you can do with origami are kind of amazing. 好，所以 the high-tech uses 就是高科技的应用 of the traditional art of origami 这个传统的折纸艺术，它在科技上面的应用呢 are truly incredible. 那、啊、真的是 incredible， 让人叹为观止。They demonstrate and they show in real solid ways how humans can borrow techniques from the past. To make an impact on the modern world, so they show how we really can update old technology to new technology. 好 ，they 就是指 the high tech uses 啊，这些高科技的使用或应用呢 ，demonstrate 展示或者显示了人们可以如何的 how humans 人类可以如何的 borrow 借用 techniques from the past 来自于过去的技术，借用它来干嘛呢 ？To make an impact on 就是来对什么什么产生影响，叫做 to make an impact on。所以人们可以用来自过去的技术，而对 the modern world， 对现代的世界产生影响。Okay, so we've learned a lot about origami's impact on the world. Let's answer some questions about what you learned in today's and yesterday's articles. One, in which article are readers most likely to come across this passage? 好，那读者最有可能在哪一篇文章里面看到我们今天看到这个段落 ？And the article is D: New Technology Inspired by Ancient Ideas. 古老想法所启发的新科技，答案是 D. And number two, which of the following statements is true? 以下哪个叙述是正确的 ？The answer is C: The fish grabber can be used more than ten kilometers deep in the ocean. I love calling it a fish grabber. Yeah, 答案是 C. 哈，那个捕鱼的装置，它可以在超过十公里深的海底所使用
And number three, according to the passage, what is the difference between traditional shields and the origami style ones? 那根据文中的说法，传统式的盾牌和指折式的盾牌有什么区别呢？ The answer is C. The origami style ones weigh less and expand to a larger size. 好，那答案是 C。指折式的这种盾牌呢 ，weigh less 就是它的重量更轻。那它扩展的这个尺寸会更大，它的 expand 它张开来之后，它的尺寸更大。And number four, whose statement does not refer to any of the devices mentioned in the passage? So it's got to be mentioning a brand new device. 好，所以谁的一个叙述呢？指的并不是本文所提到的设备。And the answer is B. These solar panels are made from eco-friendly materials. They are more efficient than traditional ones. 答案是 B。好，因为 B 这个人他说呢，这些太阳能板呢是由环保材质所。制成的那我们在这里谈到的并不是环保材质，我们讲的是它那种运用折叠的技术啊。那材质我们已经讲出来了啊，就是科维拉啊。那所以他后面讲到说，它比这或者是这些东西比传统的更有效率啊。那这个也不是我们文章所提到的，所以正确答案应该是 B。So that is all we have for you on origami, but please join us again next time for more Ivy English. Until then, bye bye. bye.